Hey, welcome back everybody and today we're going to talk about construction lines. Um, I'm going to show you how to um, use horizontal and vertical construction lines um, and they're especially helpful in creating additional views of your drawing. Alright, so what we have here is um, on the right hand side is the final result of what our objective is with construction lines. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get this result over here inside of this border. So what I've done here is I've come to the draw panel and I've pinned the draw panel down uh, because construction line is right here um, in the draw panel. Alright, so I'm going to click on construction line and um, if you'll notice there are um, choices in the construction line command in the square brackets you can have a horizontal construction line, a vertical construction line, uh, you can put one in with an angle, you can also use bisect and offset. Uh, for this tutorial we're just going to worry about horizontal and vertical construction lines. So if I want a horizontal one I'm going to type H enter and um, I do have my endpoint O snaps on so um, to draw the right side view I'm going to click the top and the bottom there to have my two construction lines come over. Okay, uh, I'm going to right click to restart the command and I'm going to do V enter for a vertical construction line and I'm going to put one right there. Okay, now I'm going to come up to offset and I want to offset that line the thickness of the right side view which is one inch so I'll do one enter. I'm going to pick the object and pick a side and there we have uh, one inch. Okay, so now you can kind of see we've got the right side view here ready. It just needs to be trimmed. So I'm going to come up to trim and I'm going to select these four lines as my knives. I'm going to do a right click and then I'm going to make a crossing window over the lines that I want to trim. Okay, and that does that nice and quickly. All right, for the top view, same idea, vertical construction line, grab the points on the uh, front view. Um, I'm going to right click to repeat construction line command, horizontal. Again, I'm going to offset this one inch. I'm going to come up to trim, select my knives, enter. select what I want to trim. Okay, now for the last part of this we've got the hole that's in the middle of the box and I want to be able to attach horizontal and vertical construction lines along the edges to show that the hole drills through the box. So I'm going to come down to O snaps and I'm going to right click and I'm going to put quadrant on as one of my O snaps. Okay, so now with quadrant on I'm going to come back up to construction line and I'm going to do a horizontal construction line and you notice it picks up the top and the bottom quadrant. Okay, and I'm going to do that again for vertical for the top view and there we have the two quadrants. Okay, let's trim out these lines. I'm going to do both views at the same time. There we go. Okay, so now we've got the holes showing through in both views. The only thing we need to do is make these lines dashed. So I'm going to grip them. I'm going to come up to my layer manager and force them onto the hidden line layer. Do escape. And there you have it. All you have to do now is dimension it. And that is how you use construction lines horizontal and vertical to create a right side and top view of an object.